Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Sarah Janes here from Egyptomaniacs and welcome to another show. Today we're going to be making Baztat puppets, but first of all I would like to say hello to Mary and Pinya, my nieces in Bexhill. I miss you very much during this lockdown period and I can't wait to see you afterwards. But thank you very much for sending me the video of you making ank biscuits, that was brilliant. And here it is for everybody. And we've already done the biscuits but we've got one more left. Hello, Mary and Pinya. Hello, Mary and Pinya. Well done also to Esme in Hastings, who made our salt dough scarab beetles, and they came out very nicely. Baztet, or Ubaste, was an Egyptian deity, a feline goddess, protector of the domestic scene, especially women and children, and she was often invoked during pregnancy and childbirth. She was also seen to protect people from plagues and diseases. Perhaps this was a reflection of the domestic cat's ability to catch vermin. Probably in part because of the goddess Baztet, cats were very popular pets in ancient Egyptian times. These days in Egypt, people are much less inclined to have a cat as a pet, and most of them are feral. Even though you can imagine, some of these cats roaming the streets may be direct descendants from the ancient Egyptians' pets. The cult centre of Bastet was at Bubastis, and this is where her yearly festival would be held. In April and May, worshippers travelled to Bubastis in boats, along the rivers. Many thousands of people would attend Bastet's festival in Bubastis, and they would travel there on boats, crowded with men and women, the women playing the sistrum, a kind of small percussive rattle instrument that sounded a bit like a tambourine, and the men playing flutes. Women, especially during the Baztec festival, were invited to let their hair down and be a bit wild, and it is said that they would stop at towns and cities on the way to Bubastis and lift up their skirts and reveal themselves. Baztec is frequently depicted holding a sistrum. The sistrum is a very, very ancient, pre-dynastic percussive instrument dedicated to the goddess Hathor, who you can see here depicted on this sistrum's handle. The sound came from these metallic discs sliding on these snake-shaped rods. As you can imagine from this modern reconstruction of a sistrum, it made a sound a little bit like a tambourine. The sistrum was considered a very sacred instrument, and for this reason it was actually the only instrument permitted inside the inner sanctum of the temples. Today may end up being a lesson in creative improvisation because we're not all going to have the same stuff lying about. So I thought the probably the easiest thing to do would be to make a sock puppet. So I have a little black sock here. Actually, you'll notice that it's navy, but never mind. And um, I don't have any animal eyes knocking about, but I did have some Fimo. So I made my own little... Um, Fimo cat eyes and I put a hole in those so I can sew those in but any kind of eyes even if you just make them out of paper or card or whatever that would be fine um we need some little ears for our puppet so I just cut some cardboard ears out of a piece of card and I'm going to need to color those in black because I didn't have any black card and then to give our puppet a little bit more of a feline nice round strokeable face I found some stuffing here 
and I'm going to make some jewellery for our Baztet. So I've got some cord and uh, Indy found me these nice beads as well. So we're going to make Baztet a nice little necklace. So first of all, I've put my uh, stuffing at the end of the sock. I've just um, stopped up that up with a piece of card. So my fingers are resting on a thin piece of card at the top there. And then I made some little holes in the sock for my fingers to poke through or thumb and my little finger. So now as you can see, I've sewn the cat's little ears on. Oh, I should have probably colored in the back of those. I'll do that now. Um, and you can start to see it's taking the shape of a cat. So now I've put the eyes and the nose on. I did a little um, mouth there with uh, chalk and I put some uh, paw pads on my fingertips as well to just add that real cat look. And now Baztet is wearing her necklace as well, so she's ready for her party. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.